Good afternoon, viewers and listeners of TechPoint Zone. Today's video is about the conversion kit for your generating set, which enables you to convert your generator from running on petrol or gasoline to either running on natural gas, NG, or cooking gas, which is LPG. So we are going to demonstrate on how you can uh, know the size you are going to buy. For those of you who want to buy this online by yourself, but probably don't know the ones to go for because they come in different sizes. So at first, we are going to talk about how to run it with uh, gasoline. All you simply need to do is to plug in the hose from the gas tank of a generator in here. And once you plug it in, everything is good to go. You're set. Just make sure you turn the choke in the right direction at the right time, depending on the sequence of starting your generator. Of course, I'm sure you know that already, where to turn the choke before starting and after starting. So once you do that, plug it in here, you start the generator, it starts running on gasoline. Now, there's this part of this um, kit that I also want to talk about. This hose that runs from here to somewhere around the gas chamber of this uh, combustion kit. Now, do not mistake this hose as a gas uh, hose. No, it is actually for gasoline, which is for your petrol. And what this helps you to do is to enable you to be able to drain too much of petrol in the petrol chamber of this carburetor. Now, the reason for that, I'm sure most of us already know, is that uh, many times when you uh, shut off your, I'm sorry, when you switch off your generating set or your generator and you forgot to close the gate of the um, gasoline going into this carburetor chamber, more and more petrol flow goes in here and at the point it will be too much in this chamber and it is popularly referred to as over floating. So the result of that or the effect of that is you will not be able to start up your generator. but what normally uh, used to be done is to go to this part right and open this drain bolt but with this uh, conversion kit they've been able to connect holes from here down here so instead of going or remove or struggling to remove these bolts in order to drain the excess gasoline you can just come down straight here and use this to just open this screw and once you open it, the excess gasoline is going to drain off away from here. And once it drains off properly, you shut it again and you'll be able to start up your generator. So when you're using it with um, alternative uh, uh, energy, uh, for instance, uh, natural gas, you plug the hose in here to the regulator of your cylinder. If you're using it with cooking gas, which most of us are going to be doing, also you plug the hose from your cylinder here. But of course, make sure that the hose is plugged to a domestic regulator. For safety reasons do not use industrial regulator use domestic regulator for safety reasons so after plugging your hose here use this pressure or a, or a pod valve to purge so that it can enable your chainsaw to start like i said this uses natural gas or cooking gas when this particular one is upright right it is using lpg and when it is sideways it is running on cng so Pay attention to that. Know the type of fuel you are using at any point in time and know where to turn it. So for the purpose of using it with LPG, which is a cooking gas, you turn it straight up. Now, uh, also this is going to uh, come in different sizes. So for those of you who want to buy online and you don't know the size to go for, this is a quick guide on how to know. So some sellers will put the size there and tell you, oh, this is specifically for maybe two kilowatt to three kilowatt generator. But if you don't know what to still look out for, well, some other sellers will put the generator's capacity and also the measurement of the aperture of the carburetor. So now I'm going to measure this. If you check, this is 24 mm. So this has 24 mm aperture or diameter. And for any generator that is between 2 kilowatt to 3 kilowatt, it's going to be running on this type of carburetor that, run, that has aperture or diameter carburetor diameter of 24 mm and the center to center boat distance is uh, going to be 42 so once you go online and you see anyone with center to center boat of 42 and inter diameter of 24 that means it's going to be a perfect fit for your 2 to 3 kilowatt generator now if you don't know the size if you don't know the size of a generator in terms of kilowatt then you can also use the 
horsepower rating. So for easy, uh, for, for, for the sake of uh, understanding, uh, one horsepower is equal to 745 watts. So you can do the conversion of maybe your two, 2.5 horsepower to 3 horsepower to 3.2 horsepower. But you can rest assured that anything between your 2200, which is 2.2 to 3.2 horsepower, is also going to fit between the 2 to 3 kilowatt uh, sizing which means you can still go for this particular one of 24mm internal diameter and 42mm center to center bolt. Now, if you have a generator that is slightly bigger, right, then you need to go for something bigger. So this is a generator, so sorry, this is a carburetor for a bigger generating set. Of course, uh, I do not have a combustion kit for a bigger gen set, but I have a sample carburetor for my bigger generator. And for that, you are going to have to measure the internal diameter also and for this one it's going to give you 30 mm so you can see 30 mm 30 mm so if your generator is anything above 3 kilowatts say for instance from 3.2 to 10 kilowatts you are going to need conversion kits right that has internal diameter for this carburetor of 30 mm and the center to center boot distance is going to be 52 mm so this is just to assist you in your ordering so that you don't end up ordering uh, oversized or undersized conversion kit for your generator so you can see this is 52.3 something but it's already 52 mm center to center bolt distance for bigger generating set between 3.1 3.2 kilowatts to 10 kilowatts while these will work perfectly well for between 2 kilowatts to 3 kilowatts i hope this video helps if you find this video interesting please like subscribe share and hit the bell icon for notifications so that you can get notification when our other videos come out the next video we are going to be doing is going to be on how to fix this on your gen set Thanks for now. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.